Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. This is Jasmine. Today I have this video for you. We're going to talk about some of my predictions that are coming true. Um, I'm going to show you a video clip at the end of this video uh, that I took at a festival. I went to a Nigerian festival this weekend and um, recorded a, about a minute of something that I feel like is part of my predictions coming true. If you haven't watched my prediction videos, please do so. Um, right now I'm going to do energies for October for all zodiac signs. We're going to go by the elements. Um, if you haven't, um, subscribed to my play page, please do so. Hit that notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload another video. Also, follow the links down below. If you want a personal reading, my email is down below. You can email me. If you already have my number, text me. I am running a $10 special for three questions. So jump in on that before it's over. I'm going to have it to the end of the month, October. Also, please follow my brother's page. The link is down below. He's an artist, and he has a few videos there. I'd like for you to subscribe and just follow his page if you'd like. I was also in a music video with this famous artist named T-Boney. The link is down below, too, if you'd like to watch that. All right, y'all, let's get started. I'm going to do Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I am shuffling on camera for those of you that always say, hey, you never shuffle on camera, blah, 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 blah. Don't want to hear it. All right? All right, so here we go. Show me water signs for October 2023. What do you see? Water signs for October 2023. Okay, the first one that jumped out is the Ace of Pentacles. I haven't seen a new beginning coming for you. This is the Ace of Pentacles. The hand, if you notice, is coming from the universe. It's holding this golden cup. Sorry, y'all, if my phone jumps back and forth. I don't know why it's doing that. I've tried to mess with this, with the um, settings, but I just can't figure out why the camera moves like that. But anyway, um, you see the cup is full, and it's overflowing into the water here. Uh, there's a lot of movement in the water, and there's a bird here. The bird has the cross representing um, new beginnings. So I'm also saying this is a baby card, so if some of you are... Or planning on getting pregnant, it will happen. Or you could be announcing that you're getting pregnant or will have a baby. Or might have already just had one. So I do see new beginnings as far as new jobs, new love relationships, and just new beginnings all over. So take advantage of that. This new moon that we just had, bring, it brings in the equinox, which is the change of season to autumn. So that it came with the good beginnings here. Show me water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What do you see for water signs? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Here we have the three of swords. This represents an X coming back. There's an X that actually broke your heart in the upright. You see the three uh, swords piercing the heart. In the background, there is lots of um, rain, raining from the clouds, gray color, which represents sad depression. Um, if I hold my hand still, maybe the camera won't move as much. Um, sad depression, crying, and this person broke your heart by a third party, but it's in the reverse, so that means it's passing. So you might have already gotten past this person, but I do see them returning back in the month of October, and they're going to be coming with an apology, telling you, I'm sorry. And the, the words they'll be saying are something like, oops, I did not mean for it to happen. It was an accident. Sorry. Um... It was, you know, that's not what I wanted to do, but baloney, don't believe it because if someone has intentions of not cheating on you, they just won't do it, okay? They just won't do it, so yeah, don't believe that. I forgot to mention my cup, y'all. This is a cup that I haven't put an influence on if you don't know about it. It's a magical cup, yes, and I'm able to do that because I can do many spells. So this one is for manifesting. If you want to manifest good luck and health, love, and money. This is the cup to buy. There's a link down below. You click on the link and it'll take you straight to the page where you can purchase it. Now, you're going to be doing the manifesting. I've already put the influence on it. You're going to be doing the manifesting. So what you do is write on a piece of paper what you want to happen in those areas. You're going to fill the cup with your favorite beverage. And you're going to drink. After you pray what's on that paper, always pray in Jesus' name because all good things come from him. You drink from the cup. Drink, drink, drink. Sorry, my cup is dirty. And um, then you... Um, put place the cup on top of that paper, leave it there, leave it there, and then do it again the next day, the next day, and the next day until you start manifesting what you're praying for. All right, <coughs> excuse me, try your luck because I've had many success stories with that. My brother bought it and he was very, very ill. 
And then when he, and there was like they were giving him bad news on his health. And then all of a sudden, he brought the cup and he drank from it, and his health turned around, and now he's fine. This is what I'm drinking today: sugar-free Sun Kiss Zero Sugar. I love this stuff. I didn't have time to put it in a cup, but I can't put it in my cup. I need to wash my cup. But anyway, let's keep going with Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yes, do not accept this uh, ex's apology because they're actually not really sincere. The apology is not sincere. They're just coming in to mess with you a little bit, see what you're up to because they're nosy, see if you might accept them back because they were using your car, taking your money, you were buying them stuff, whatever it was that they were taking from you, they want that again. The other ex that's with them already dumped them. Let them go. Let him, him and her go. So now they're going to try to come back to you. Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So yeah, I would not accept them back. Next, we're going to do Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for October 2023. What do you see for Earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh, I have too many cards jumping here. Hold on. When they jump like that, it doesn't mean anything. Unless you're with someone that has extreme amount of energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, there's one. Look at that. The same thing came out for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What do you see for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Okay, here we have some. If it falls face down, then you're not going to read that, okay? For some of you that are tra in training, you're not going to read the one that falls face down. Again, we have the Ace of Cups, New Beginnings for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Baby Coming In, New Jobs. Anything that's new, that's a new beginning, it's coming, so go for it, all right? I am seeing that you're gathering your strength. You need to gather your strength, and you're gathering your strength. It seems like past things um, from the past um, got you down, but now this is a new beginning for you, so gather your strength. You see the lion is coming in, roaring at the maiden. She's trying to shut its mouth with the hands, so the lion represents life itself, roaring in, but she's like, no, 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 I'm going to shut you down. So she shuts his mouth down with the hands, and then if you notice, there's an infinity sign here above her head, meaning forever, a lot, lifetime. So whatever it is that you're trying to manifest is going to last for a lifetime. If you always see the color yellow, that means new beginnings. That's going to go okay, and you have this one with it. All right? So um, the blue in the back always represents deep thought. But if you notice, it's far, far away. So your deep thought about all that was bothering you is going away. It's far away now. I am seeing someone that's sad, crying in, in depression. This is the nine of swords. Swords always bring in bad, bad influences or bad things. In this case, I'm seeing someone that's in their bed crying, depressed. Black represents depression. Maybe someone you know went to jail or you're in jail or you've created a self-imprisonment in your mind. It's time to get out of that. All right. Time to get out of that worrying about stuff and crying isn't going to get you anywhere but sad and depressed. So get out of that Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn because new things are coming in October. All right, so next we have fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for October 2023. What do you see? I see one that just flipped in here. Where did it go? Hmm. I know I saw a card that flipped. Where is it? We? Okay, I'm sure it'll pop back out. There it is. Uh huh. Look at that. Another wand. Wow. Another hand from the universe. That's a great card to have. All right. Again, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What do you see? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. We're going to go with those. So the first one is the Ace of Wands representing new beginnings again, the hand of the universe. Now this represents um, you because the wand is the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So a new start is coming in for you. The hand of the universe is giving you a new beginning. Again, this represents new jobs, new beginnings, new love. I see a new love coming as well for those of you that are unattached or, or maybe you're attached and you want a new love. But I'm also seeing a baby as well. A lot of babies are going to be born in October. Um, because it's the equinox, begin new beginnings, so it brings in a lot of babies. I am seeing you were having a hardship with money, your job. It looks like you had lost a job or lost money due to a job or something like that. Um, in the upright, you see how he's working hard. He's passionate. 
in deep thought about his work. He has all his things, coins displayed here showing what he's already done. But then he's still working on a couple here. But it's in a reverse. I and mean, it shows like either you've already stopped working or stopped caring. Or maybe you lost the job that you were having and all that. Never fret because the new beginning is here. All right. And now I'm seeing someone that took a break or needed to take a break. You see the soldier is laying down and he's praying. And there's people up here looking down at him, praying for him as well. Sorry, y'all. My, my, um, <sighs> this camera gets on my nerves. It's jumping. And then we have the Four of Swords. Two are above him, representing deep in thought of imprisonment. He's in his mind, okay? He's in his mind. He's laying down and he's in his mind thinking about stuff. And one's laying here with him. That's not a good way to be seeing that you need to take a break from stuff because of everything that's happened in this card here. So you took a break or you're taking a break, but it's time to get up at the end of the month, try to get your break over, get out of your mind, Get back up and get to work because new beginnings are coming. I am seeing you could have been taking a break because of a loss of a child or a loss of... There was a loss of something, but I am seeing a loss of a child as well. In the upright, the Empress is the card of pregnancy, of, of abundance, and babies coming in. You see she's sitting on a cushioned couch. It's quite cushioned here. She's quite comfortable, but she's pregnant. Okay, so that's abundance coming in, pregnancy. The water is flowing towards her, which means good luck. The wheat is growing here. This also means good luck for crops, people that are carrying crops. And she holds her power stick up, showing her mighty power. Yellow brings in new um, days. And then the crown has all the stars on it, which represents all, all of the heavens are with her. But it's in the reverse for you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So that means there was a loss of a child, maybe a pregnancy, a false positive on a pregnancy test, or maybe your child got kidnapped or whatever. Maybe that's why the universe is giving you a new baby because you lost one. Okay, so think about that. But in any case, get out of your mind, get out of that break, take the break you need to, and then get up and go and try again because new things are coming. That is the most definite from the universe all right next we have the uh let me see i just did aries there's a sagittarius that was fire signs the last one is gemini libra and aquarius which is air signs show me show me spirit show me gemini aries leo and aquarius which is air signs what do you see for october 2023 for these people Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Show me Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. What do you see for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius? October 2023. Show me Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're not going to use these, y'all. Too many fell out. I'm going to start again. I'm going to back my camera up just a bit. Okay. Show me Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. For October 2023, I need a different camera, y'all. One that sits above looking down. Oh my gosh, what's going on with these cards? Come on, spirit. Okay, we're going to go with that one. Gemini leaving Aquarius. Why is I'm having trouble shuffling? Gemini leaving Aquarius. What do you see? Wow, I, I I knew this one wanted to come out. Okay, these wanted to come out again. All right, so we have double a double whammy here for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. First of all, the first one that came out is your intuition. That's the high priestess, meaning you already know what's up. You already know what's happening. Whatever situation it is, you already know the truth. I am seeing a third party heartbreak here, so I'm get I'm thinking that this goes with this card saying that you already know what's going on. So you need to leave that behind. If there's someone that's cheating on you and you already know about it or you know there's, your th there's a third party involved, it's time to let that go. Cut that loose. All right, cuz all that's doing is bringing you heartache just like this card here. You have two new beginnings here. You have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. This is also represents a babies, two babies coming in. I'm seeing twins being born to someone in October. And then you have two new beginnings here. A new beginning in love. And then both of these are love, emotional cards, money. This is the best, one of the best hands you can get. So whatever it is that you lost here or you think you're losing it, 
let it go. Okay, because look what you got coming. You got a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming in. And both of them want to offer you love, new beginnings, new money. I see new everything coming in for you. All right. New everything coming in for you. That's for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So let go of the bad that don't no, no longer work for you. This is how the universe works. If something doesn't no longer work for you, why, why are you hanging on to it? Let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go, and move forward, okay? Close the door so a new door can open. All right, y'all, the next clip I'm going to show you, stick around to the end, because I'm going to show you um, a clip of all the marijuana um, products that I saw this weekend. And in my video, the predictions for 2024, I said that uh, there would be a big boom of it. You know, right now people make it in cut cookies, donuts, you know, things like that. But now everyone wants to market in it because they feel like they can sell it and make money off of it. So there's going to be an explosion of it. Okay, explosion of it. It's going to be in everything. So what I saw this weekend was cookies, candy, jelly beans, lollipops, those little sugar sprinkles that you put on cake and cupcakes. I saw Cheetos, cheese, cheese nips. All of these products have marijuana in it. And the worst thing about it is children were getting these. I saw young adults buying them and giving them to their young siblings. It, it was horrible. It was horrible. I know a lot of you might smoke weed or might like that stuff. But my God, don't give it to the young children. Let them grow up with a chance to decide if they want to do it on their own or not. You know, we can't walk around with everybody high. You know, someone's got to be in their right mind, <laughs> especially in the times that we live in. All right, so the next clip will be, I won't be not talking, but there will be, um, you'll see it. All right, so that's it for now, y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Buy my cup. Hit that notification bell so you'll be reminded when I upload another video. Um, yeah, I'm still running the special, so contact me. I'm home today, so if you want a reading today, contact me as soon as possible. I can possibly get it in today. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.